Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Mightiest Governor event. And the main thing I want to say in this video is that the Mightiest Governor is not for free to play. So, it's you guys could disagree with me with if you want, but I'm going to point out why this is for pay to win only. And whether you like it or not, free to play people cannot win this event. So, okay, so let me show you. Okay, so that we have the Midas Governor. I was lucky enough to have the Midas Governor still going while uh, I was making this video. So the Midas Governor has has five stages. The as it shows in the informational tab, if I can click it, why won't it let me click it? Um, okay, this is this is really weird. Um, but I know them, so um, it also shows them right here. So. There's five. Uh, there's five of them. There's a lim an enemy elimination. There's the powers. The the power and then the resource gathering. There's defeating barbarians, and troop training. So there are, th well, there's the eliminate enemies that can be free to play, but mainly the pay to wins go for those, and free to plays try to stay away from eliminating enemies, but. Um, so a resource gathering, a free to play can do this easily, but the thing is that they can only resource gather so much, so they can't resource gather unlimited and they can't, um, keep resource gathering forever, unlike, and then same with defeating barbarians, they can only defeat so many barbarians, and troop training, and this is again to the free to play, so, I mean, into the pay to win part. The pay to win people, they can true they can train as many troops as they want as long as they have money for it. So they can train millions and billions of troops, not billions, but just like millions of troops if they wanted to for this event. So they have an unlimited supply as long as they have money to complete this event and get first place. Now, this is nowhere even close to like even if you attack all of the barbarians on the entire map. It can still not be enough for um, even power upgrading. So this would just be increasing power. So as long as you can keep increasing power, you can keep progressing. Like, this is the same thing as troop training. As long as you keep going up with troop training, upgrading, research, you cannot win this event. You will just... You, will, you cannot go any higher. And then the, I already talked about eliminating enemies. And then even if you are a free to play and you manage to get even in the top 50, look how look how fast the rewards go down. So first place gets 180, and then second place gets 90, and then third place gets 60, and then fourth place gets 50, and then fifth place gets 40, and sixth place it gets 30, and then 20th place and then seventh place it gets 20. And then 8th through 10th place get 20. And the top 10 are all free to play people. So anybody below this would be the would be even close to where free to play could get. And then even if you are free to play, the most you could get by attacking uh, so many barbarians and attacking and resource gathering nonstop for that entire day, you could maybe only get into the top 10, 11 through 100. And then... You, even in, if you get into 16 through 25, you only get 5. And then you only get 3. Like, this is, you get way more rewards just by getting strategic reserve, which I talked about in another video. But using your action points for barbarians and resource gathering, you get so much more for strategic reserve. For strategic reserve, free to play is just, is like the perfect event for, um, for free to play. So that's strategic reserve. So strategic reserve can get almost can get first place as long as you put enough time and effort into strategic reserve and you can get like 90 if you try and you're free to play. So unlike this, if you try your best, you can only get 3. So it's just Mighty's governor, don't even try to do it if you're free to play. Now I know technical gamer you're free to play and you're probably watching this video, so don't go for Mighty's Governor now. I only get into my Governor like top 100 just because I'm doing regular things like attacking barbarians or when I was doing strategic reserve. I got I'm in like 90th place overall just because 
Look, I'm 91th place just because I attacked a lot of barbarians during, during strategic reserve. But even though I'm in 91st per place, I'm only going to get overall ranking at top 100 of, ten, of 40 gems, 2 hours of speed ups, and 10 level uh, level 1c pack boxes. Like, I mean, obviously this is like the best reward in the game. Like, it's just Mightiest Governor. Free to play, do not even try it, okay? It's only for the people that have money, okay? You're just wasting your stuff if you try to um, beat this event during um, Mightiest... It, 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 like, I'm a moderate spender. I'm not really free to play. I, I just, like, spend when either when I need to or when, um, when there's a good deal. But really, I haven't spent more than... Two hundred dollars into this game, which may sound like a lot, but compared to the people that have spent over ten thousand dollars in this game for free to plays, it's not that much. It's close to, and more towards free to play than pay to win. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and share this video with your free to play friends. Because if you guys don't want your friends wasting their time and and um and all their resources on this, then you guys need to share this with them so that they know. And um, if you guys are new here, then please subscribe because I do make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos here. And thank you so much for staying to the end to watch this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.